So each week during a VBS, for each session, we have a compassion in action uh, activity. Last week, you may remember that our activity was to make those table centerpieces. So Shauna wanted to share with you that she added a few more things on to her compassion centerpiece. So here you can see some pipe planer butterflies all around here and a couple more, more leaves that she added. Uh, so last week it was a reminder to us and to our families about compassion and compassion camp and ways to bring us together. This week we're talking about how we can provide encouragement to our community, how we can be brave and show appreciation, but how we also appreciate people who are brave on our behalf, especially during this season with the coronavirus. We have people all around us who are doing all sorts of things to be brave and to, to care for us and to care for our community. I wonder if you can think of some people in your life or in our community who are being brave during this time. Who do you think is being brave? Those are some great answers about who you're seeing being brave in our community and in our world. Some of the people that I think of when I think of people who are brave are grocery store workers who make sure that the grocery stores stay open and the shelves stay stocked so that we can do our grocery shopping and have food to eat even during this pandemic. That they, they, uh, they put themselves out there and they risk getting sick so that we can have the food that we need to eat. I think of people who work in the hospitals, who are ready to care for anybody who comes in. I think of, of older adults, folks who may live uh, by themselves and may live in care centers, who are taking care of themselves and their communities by staying at home, and they may not be seeing their families or their grandkids or their kids during this whole time because they're staying home. And they might be feeling lonely, but they know that they're doing what is best for themselves and for their community. So my invitation to you for compassion and action is to write a letter or to send a card to somebody who you think of who is, is needing a little bit of encouragement in their bravery. Another group of people as I, I think of who are being brave at this time are our teachers uh, and, and school administrators who are trying to figure out how to safely go back to school next school year and how to care for, for you all, for the kids who they love, who are in their classes, and how to do that in a way that is safe. So think of somebody that you might write a card or letter to or send a card to. Shauna shared a little earlier that she made this card. Uh, so your card may look like this or it may look a little bit different from this one. Uh, but to send a card, to write a card, to say thank you to somebody who's caring and being brave during this time. If you need any help thinking of ideas, feel free to email us or talk to your mom or your dad or your caregiver, whoever you live with and have nearby, or you could call your grandma or grandpa and ask them if they have any thoughts. Or better yet, you may even send a card to your grandma or grandpa or an aunt and uncle or a friend, somebody who needs to hear from you. Uh, it may be somebody who's different. I would encourage you to send this letter to somebody different from the one who you sent your, your, kindness, card, uh, your kindness hug to. Uh, this would be somebody who, who needs a little bit more encouragement or a different kind of encouragement. Maybe even somebody you don't know, uh, but they would love to receive a card of encouragement uh, and, uh, and gratitude. Thank you very much, and stick around just a little bit longer for one more video in this session, and we'll come back for our closing session. Thank you.